Hey guys! We're coming up to the end of another month uh, and it's time to do another monthly plan with me for October. So first I'm going to show you um, where we're starting from. This is the September layout that I did uh, in last year's or last month's plan with me. Uh, you can see up in the corner a link to that video. These inserts are from Peanuts Planner Co. Um, so I printed them back to back. Uh, so first I've got this um, categorized list. So this is my next action item slash context, li context list. And then on the back of that we have a tracker for the month, morning, evening routines, and some other things. Then this here is my content calendar um, where I'm keeping track of all of my um, Instagram posts mostly as well as when my videos come out and stuff. And then on the back here is like a monthly list. I forget what it's called on her website, but this um, it's just, you know, a monthly view uh, with one line per day. So when you print it out back to back, it prints out for the pocket size, it prints out like four um, like pages per sheet, if that makes sense. So I ended up on, I think the right side here with two copies of this, right? Perfect. On the other side, it's still the same stuff because all of these spreads are like the same on both sides of the page, except it's in the opposite order. And I don't want to waste paper, so I'm going to go ahead and do the same setup except backwards. So we start here with the line per day, then we have the content calendar, then we have the tracker, and then the context list. It may take me a minute to remember where everything is, but it's only three pages, it shouldn't be too complicated. So this month we're going to do a sort of fall leaves color scheme and uh, go for some bright colors even though it's fall. I love fall and I'm definitely down. So let us go ahead and get started with the decor and I will see you guys at the end.
Does anyone else um, like plan what they're going to do for next month's habit tracker and then start getting really impatient to get to the next month so that they can start tracking that stuff? There's a couple of things here, like I don't usually do laundry. I try to do one laundry load per day during the week and then none on the weekends. So that's why those are blocked off. And then um, this pack item is packing my daughter's bag to go to the babysitter in the mornings. Um, and so we don't have to do that Friday or Saturday night because she's at home with us. Everything else is something I wanna get done every single day except for the mood tracker obviously is a tracker. And that's that. I um, basically just take this calendar and cover it with as much washi tape as I can fit and that's just decorative and pretty um, to try to get me to flip there every day and check to make sure I remember to post Instagram and stuff like that. Then I did a little extra washi on this than I usually do. Hopefully this won't be covering up too much but I guess I guess we'll see. I might be able to pull it off if I need to, but I kind of like that there's a little bit more color, especially since it's going to be at the front of my entire planner. And then the back is the same old context list. I've been trying to use this a little bit more. And one thing that did, like I realized this month, I'm filming this on the 23rd, so I still have like a week left in the month, but I've been using it more the last week or so. And I only have, yeah, I'm out, I'm out of space. Um, so if I have to stick another one in here, it won't be contiguous. Whereas here with it at the back of my monthly setup, I can just throw more of this insert in here, you know, maybe have it open to a spread. So that might actually be useful, um, but we'll see how much I end up using it. I will probably end up talking about this in another video if it comes up or if it continues to be useful but um, a couple videos ago now I can't remember which one it was but I was talking about how I flip through my projects section like frequently like once or twice a day sometimes because I'm always afraid that I'm forgetting something for some reason one thing I'm trying to do this week to combat that feeling is these little dots here um, these dots indicate that this is a task from a project page and so when I do this task I should go back to that project page and find a new task to add back here. That's the idea. How well will that work without any lines to write things in? That's a separate issue but that's the idea. Um, so if I'm using this more um, than, than having extra pages might be useful or at least the potential for extra pages. So there we go. This is my Peanuts Planner Co. monthly insert, or monthly, yeah, inserts set up, and this goes at the front of my planner so that it gets flipped through at least once a day. Um, and then next week I will be showing you my Mun Weekly setup. These are from my Summer Touch. Here, I can show you the September one as a preview. I will be setting this up for October in next week's video, so stay tuned. Uh, subscribe and ring the bell and all of that so that you don't miss it and I will see you guys in that video then there will also be a video on Sunday which I don't know I don't remember what it is I think it's monthly faves but we'll find out I'll see you then okay bye